Hello and welcome. This is Steve True from Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. Please visit our blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to get the latest charting techniques for your Excel dashboards that you can use with company executive charts. Uh, also, make sure you sign up for our blog because we're going to have some coupons sent to our subscribers for our new that's coming out in May. All right, today we're going to show you how to do a dynamic chart label. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, we've got the data over on the left, and uh, for February we had an increase of 21%, had a decrease of 82% in March, and an increase of 1,200% uh, in April. But we've actually got the real data points plotted, so how do we get these dynamic labels put in here so that they show up on the chart? Also, if you end up changing some information, like let's say we change that to 10, uh, you can see the label changes. Uh, Let's go back to 39 and let's just change it to say 37. Uh, so it's not up 1200%, it's only up 1133%. Uh, let, let me go ahead and show you how we do that. So the first thing you want to do is you've got your original data set with your data points. Um, and then we want to create a formula over here in column D. Uh, this is the percent difference. Since January is the first data point, we don't have a percent difference. Uh, and then we can calculate the difference from February uh, to January here in column D. And uh, so what we want to do is we want to just chart our original data. Uh, this is something you can easily do and stack these on top of a stacked bar chart, but the example I'm showing here is a line chart. So let's go up to the insert ribbon after we've selected our just our data only. We're going to insert a 2D line chart that over here so that you can see that a little better. All right, so now what we have here is uh, these are our sales. Clean it up a little bit so that we can see the data points a little bit more. Uh, so here's our line. We don't have any labels on there just yet. We have the chart selected. We want to go up to our layout ribbon. We want to choose data labels and we want to put them, oh, let's go ahead and do them above for right now. Uh, so this has gone ahead and done data labels. Um, that we've got on the chart. Now these are the actual numbers and if we uh, click on those and I'm going to hit control 1 or you could also come up here and do format selection on your layout and ribbon. Uh, you see we've got different choices. We've got series name, category name, uh, so that's going to tell you the series is 2012, the category was January, the dollar or number amount is 14, uh, but I really don't want any of those. I wanted the custom ones that I created. So what we want to do is let me unselect a couple of them here. We've got these data points, um, and all we need to do is actually come out and uh, click on the data label. I'm going to get rid of this one, so I'm going to click on it again and hit the delete key. Up here, I'm going to click on these ones, and I'm going to re-click on this one, and this selects just this data label. It does not select all the data labels. And I'm going to hit my equal sign, and I'm going to find the one that it's related to. And I want this one uh, to be set to the cell D4. I'm going to hit Enter. You can see now plus 21% uh, is there as well. Uh, for this number three, I'm going to click on it twice. Go in here and click on the cell of D5. doesn't work, so we need to click on the data label, hit the equal sign, then go over and click on the cell. That's the way you make that little process work. Once again, I'm going to select uh, the chart, select the data labels once, the individual data label twice, hit the equal sign and find the data point um, on my spreadsheet that I want that to be equal to. So you can set these to any labels uh, and you can uh, now go in and see we can go ahead and change this to 35 and it goes from 1200 to 1067. Uh, let's say 3 was wrong, it was really 9, we're only down 47 percent. So those numbers can help you highlight some different data points on your chart. You can make them dynamic and link them to any cell within your worksheet. Uh, it was an interesting trick I found. I know you can do it with a chart title, but never thought about doing it with a data label. Uh, it's like this. Visit Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. Thank you and have a great day.